<laughs> this is gonna be a. It wasn't gonna show the feet, unless you want to see the feet. Okay, okay. Damn. You want? Okay, okay. Not for free. Not for free. <laughs> Jeez. We're here with the number one, the baddest, Desiree. I'm giving y'all a little, you know, introduction. Uh, what's your favorite childhood memory? Favorite childhood oh, memory. Just something quick. Oh. Um, as a kid, me and my brothers, we were always like the three, like, I guess. So it goes me, my older brother, and then me, and then my little brother. And whenever we have to take pictures, we'd all like line up. Um, my older brother, he put his head at the top, and then my head in the middle, and my little brother's head at the, at the bottom. And it kind of just be uh, like our thing, I guess, like our signature pose. Like we all line up, do our little head thing. I don't know. Is he still shorter than you? My little brother? No. He's been taller than me for like five years. <laughs> Not gonna lie. You? It, it hurt me at first, but I've accepted it. I've accepted it. Is it. What it is. Don't it is tell what... him I said that though. Not gonna of course, lie. you won't find out. Yeah, he better not. But Who influenced you the most? Influenced me the most? Um, It's not really like a who, it's more like a... I think the 90s influenced me the most. Because people always told me, like, you are going to be from the 90s. Especially when I wore my hair kind of short and curly and, you know, like to the side or something. And be like, yeah, you look like you're from the 90s. So I kind of just accepted it. And I'm like, I'm going to embrace it. And I started like wearing more kind of 90s fashion, um, 90s music. I had a little era and I just went with it. Unless there's spots, you're kind of dope. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what it means. <laughs> no ulterior motive or anything. Mm. You cut off people? Yeah, I do. I do cut people off. Um, like, like I have like, what do you mean, like relationship-wise, or like friendship, relationship? Um, I mean I do, but it takes a while. I think um, I really value my connections with people, and I feel like when I cut somebody off, I kind of lose the person that I was with that person, and so I don't really like to cut people off, but. Now that I'm getting older and maturing, I feel like it's more healthy to it. protect my own peace at times. And even though it hurts, it's just something you kind of have to do when you get older, I guess. Is it always easy to cut people off? No, it's, it's definitely not always easy to cut people off. I mean, some people are definitely easier than others to cut off. Damn. <laughs> I'm just being honest. like. But, I mean, sometimes you just got that person you really don't want to let go of, whether it be like a friendship or maybe an idol or someone you looked up to or a relationship there's always somebody who's like hard to cut off because they are a really big piece of you and maybe something that you guys shared was really important but sometimes it's necessary let's walk okay? let's That's walk so far, you know, so far. okay mm. favorite color to wear favorite color to wear Yep. Um, I like wearing yellow. I feel like it looks good on me. It makes me happy. Um, you look good on yellow? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. nothing. Yeah, I look great in yellow, I think. Um, I also like, I like wearing orange. I like wearing blues, even though I don't wear a whole bunch of blues. Um, I like wearing that. greens, too. I'm going to circle back. How about color in general? Like what do you mean? Favorite color in general. In general? Favorite color in general. Um, like I said, I think orange is probably up there. And then it's more like a, a vibe that I'm feeling for whatever day it is, I guess. Sometimes I'll be feeling really blue. And sometimes I'm feeling really, uh, really green. Sometimes I'm feeling brown. So it just depends on the day. I think my favorite color is switched like eight times, so you can't really decide. Okay. 
favorite season? Favorite season? I think my favorite season is spring. Now that I'm like on a really floral campus, it's just a different experience getting to see all the flowers bloom and all the colors kind of come together. And I appreciate it way more than I used to. So I think spring is my favorite season now. Mm. Favorite month? Favorite month. Probably December. That's when I was born. Boo. That's a W month. W month. Boo. Um, that's a great month. It's okay. But I mean, like, I like spring months, but I feel like they all kind of flow together. Like, when you think of the year, nobody's thinking of, like, March. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, nobody's thinking of March. September. I don't even remember September exists sometimes. Uh, what else? August, maybe. May. That's another one. No. May. Everybody knows June because of summer. Everybody knows May because you get out of school around that time. Not in Iowa, you don't. Oh. In yeah. Iowa, you get out of, in June. So, yeah, we're gonna say December, best month, for sure. What are you passionate about? Passionate about, um, I'm passionate about being happy. I think above everything, I just wanna be happy the most. Like, if it's a, a big decision that I need to make, I'm gonna choose whatever makes me happiest. I'm always like pursuing things that make me happy. So I think I'm really passionate about happiness. Why are you so passionate about being happy? Because it's, it's like when you think about it, I feel like we so, get so caught up in like everyday things that we forget that life is like an experience and not tasks, just task after task after task. And I think that when we start to live for our own happiness, It'll be a richer experience, if that makes sense. So. Have you ever been sad? Of course I've been sad. Depressed? Absolutely depressed. But I mean, I think that's another thing, like being able to contrast how you felt is just growth, I guess. And that's important. I've had some really like dark times, I guess, where I just felt like I was never gonna be happy again. But, um, you get past them, and then when you look back at them, it just makes you feel a lot stronger. What helped you through being sad and depressed? Um, I think whenever I was upset, let me think. I think looking toward the future helped me a lot, because I feel like I knew that being upset was always just a temporary feeling. Um, I like the verse, this too shall pass, because it just reminds you that everything is, it has an end. And so I just plan my future and start thinking about the things that I want to do. And it just helps me be more optimistic. Just move past things, I guess. Was that always the way you thought about it? Um. Maybe not in the moment when you're upset, you think, oh, it, it's fine, like, it's, it's gonna pass, but once you, like, calm down and you just start to think to yourself and get, like, what's the word? Just sound in mind, I guess. Then it starts to kick in. You start feeling a little better, and you can start looking towards the future, I guess. You like walking? Um, I like walking a lot more than I used to. But I mean, that's also kind of subjective because in my neighborhood where I grew up, I couldn't really just walk outside because it was downtown and I might get snatched. But um, <laughs> I think I enjoy it now. It's very scenic here. How about running? Um, you know, even though I run track, I actually don't like running like that. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of crazy, but like when you wake up, go to practice at Nine, uh, 11 and he tells you you gotta run non-stop I'll be ready to turn around and go home I'm like oh, I, I'm like I could have been sleeping right now but it's fine I guess people say like running clears your head 
It does not. They're lying. Whoever says running clears your head is a liar. What made you do track in the first place? Um, so I was a volleyball player for a while. I played. You can go on the left. We're just gonna keep going to the river. Okay. We'll be fine. I played volleyball for eighth, ninth. Let me use that. Five years, I think. Mm-hmm. And then um, after a while, I just. I didn't really want to, I don't know, I wasn't really messing with my team at the time, I'm not going to lie. And (laughs) track is, like, really individual. It's very self-accountable. So when you run track, you're kind of doing it for yourself. Even though you're running against other people, you're really just trying to beat yourself. And I think that, I don't know, when your competition is yourself, it just is a whole different vibe, like, Track is a fully ego sport. So yeah, I know you have that ego. Track is a fully ego sport for sure. So I don't know. It just makes you want to do better so you can be better. Oh, that kind of sounds a little beautiful. I it. told you. You see? We got more flowers over here. Looking amazing. I haven't even seen those ones yet. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> I'm on a mission here. Enough. Can't be lollygagging. I'm trying not to breathe in this. I'm a little sick right now. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs>